degree and um, you know whatever those costs are versus if you were to do stem cell therapy we are you don't need general anesthesia you can do you know a local like a lidocaine you're you walk out of the office um, I know recently I did a knee um, that he the imaging was basically like bone on bone and he wanted to get back to playing basketball he a month later he he was able to he wasn't a hundred percent but he's like i was able to go play basketball and so that was you know it was amazing so you you know and you don't you don't have the same downtime and obviously it's a health forward we're healing that area versus doing nothing or you know with the surgery it's like well we don't know how good it's going to turn yeah. out so if, if you if, okay so i'm going to think about it now you know away from the medical side more the preventative side um you know, so no 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 fixing and curing but more preventative how many sessions or how many um uh, yeah sessions of stem cells would you need per year to have that value would you need it kind of a few times a year would it be once every few years what kind of, what would be the schedule for that so for everybody, it would be different um, because it also depends on our internal environment. You know, how healthy are we? How you know how many how many lifestyle modifications are we? You know, how how health forward are we? Basically, so I have patients that like to do it quarterly. Um, I have patients that want to do it, you know, once or twice a year. Um, it it really can you know, and then subjectively, how are they feeling? You know, I have, you know, the patients that want it quarterly, they are like, like, they love the outcomes, they love the feedback they're getting from people around them, you know, that actually notice physical changes in them, you know, energy changes, and they are like all about it. But then, you know, cost is absolutely a factor. And so, you know, like for me, I with my family, you know, I will give them injections like once or twice a year. Um, that's, I would say, like as a middle ground, you know, at least once a year. Yeah. But because, if it's something you know, like going back to like your knee, you know, how many treatments would you need for your knee? It's not something that you should have to go in, you know, monthly for it. Um, you should, it, it depends on the severity again in your environment, but you might get it done in one, you might need one a few months later, but you also have to give it time to work. Absolutely. And you know, it does cost, and it's tens of thousands of dollars if you start doing it, quarterly mm -hmm. so it's a you know it's an expensive exercise but you know if you're in a position to say right i'm going to do the very best i can and prevent things coming forward then um you know it's definitely definitely worth looking at and i'm hugely interested in it. it's really hard to get it over here um we need to go to europe for it and um uh you know worst ways up i might even take a flight to scottsdale again and, um, <laughs> and get used to it for me but it's yeah i mean it's a really interesting way to optimize things and prevent stuff for the future and if we can if that if that cost comes down because shelf stable um therapy works then um that would be a really interesting thing to start bringing into more people's lives for sure definitely and you know when we think about anti-aging um i have become a huge proponent of just utilizing exosome therapy so that will definitely bring down cost. Um, when I use stem cells, I like to use stem cells, you know, it depends, it, you know, there's always all, all kinds of variables, but when we're working on joints, stem cells and exosomes are awesome. If you're working on, um, um, you know, something that where there's a pathogen, Lyme's disease, something like that, you want to use, you want to utilize stem cells because they're very rich in natural killer cells. And those are drawn to these pathogens that are so hard to treat. But when we're talking about anti-aging or general anti-inflammation, chronic fatigue, um, I mean, uh, some of the chronic diseases, diabetes, arthritis, asthma, um, utilizing just the exosomes, we are having really great outcomes with that. And so, you know, I like, you know, I, I try to do what I can with my patients because it's like, I want people to be able to benefit from this stuff because it is so, it's, it's amazing these results. And so, um, you know, be careful too, because I have also heard with, you know, some of these therapies, I've also heard 
you know, you can pay a hundred thousand dollars for it. And I don't know what, what some people are using, but you know, it's definitely, you know, I think there are options out there for people. So, you know, just be mindful and, and, you know, there's a balance. If it's something that you really want, you can probably find something that's going to work for you. Do you, do you ever use peptides? Would you ever use, uh, or have you looked into using the peptides for anything? Uh, I, I, I have definitely looked into that. I've, I've read some, you know, some good um, articles on them. I personally haven't used them much in the practice, but there are a couple that I've been looking into for uh, like muscle repair. So, you know, people that are doing a lot of like sports performance and, and maybe they can't afford, you know, exosome. So using like a peptide, um, like an injectable type peptide, there are some, some decent looking options out there. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, yeah, uh, I'll leave it at that. I think yeah, there's, 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 it's a difficult some, one. there's some, there's, there's a lot of questionable things about some of the peptides. And so I, again, I do what's safe. I do what I would do on myself or my family. Yeah. <laughs> it's a difficult one with peptides because one, they're not really, um, regulated and therefore the qualities, it, you can't find a quality supply that is regularly trustworthy because they're just not regulated so but there are people getting some value from it you know they are not for human consumption they're for research purposes only i want to put that out there now so don't go saying that uh, you know we said you should use them because you shouldn't but they're an interesting um up and coming bit of uh, therapy i think and if, if things start getting a bit more scientifically studied and, and we get some good reports from it then i think there'd be some use for it in the future for sure um this i've just looked at the time i don't want to keep you any longer because we're we're pushing on and um i know you're a busy girl so if people want to find out more about you and your business and what you do with where can they go and find out so they can go to my website which is ultra healthy and um obviously if you google me i'm dr nicole srednicki and um, so I have office here in Scottsdale, and I also treat patients several areas in the country because my patients have grown. So I'm in New York City a lot, seeing patients. And um, that's it. Also well, I mean, another <laughs> thing that I, I must say is that we we've spoken in the past about live blood cell analysis. Yes. And um, I, uh, I'm not sure if I've already done it, but I think. I have put you in touch with somebody um, and they uh, I've been speaking to them and they've been talking about how they can start getting that over to you and get, getting you to understand it a bit more because I think once you start seeing that on top of everything else you're doing, it will just be like what a addition that is going to be because you'll be able to see what the blood cells are doing, how they're moving, what their con- uh, construction is um, pre and post um treatment and so on so uh, it's a really interesting thing um, and we will no doubt have a show that we speak about that um so um that's got that that is something to definitely come anyway i'm rambling sorry um thanks for your time it's been great we will speak soon i know we will because we've got work that we do together and it's all very interesting stuff so it's always great to chat more um until the next time you come on which you will because we'll have so many more things to talk about um Again, appreciate your time, and um, and we'll speak soon. Sounds good. Thank you again for having me. You're welcome. Thanks.